Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know, my name is Rebecca, and today I'm sharing my fall coffee bar ideas with you guys. The weather's getting a little cooler, the coffee's getting hotter, and you know there's gonna be some pumpkin spice because I can't have fall without it. Thumbs up if you're a pumpkin spice lover. This is also a collab with Diana from Love Diana Banu, formerly called She Leaves a Little Sparkle. Hey lovelies, my name is Diana, and my channel's name is Love Diana Banu. Rebecca and I are so excited to be collabing to bring you guys our fall coffee bar ideas. Ideas. We hope that you enjoy them and don't forget to check out my video in the link in her description box below whenever you get done watching hers and be sure to show us both some love and let me know if you're new and come over from her channel. Can't wait to meet you guys. Bye bye. Diana is a stay-at-home mom to an adorable little girl. She does a lot of clean with me videos, along with some home decor, DIY, and shopping videos. And I love her personality. I think you guys will really enjoy her as well. So be sure to head over and check out her channel and her fall coffee bar ideas as well. I think you guys will really enjoy her channel. I will leave the link in the description box down below. Also, if you're coming over from Diana's channel, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Grab yourself a cup of coffee or whatever your favorite beverage is. Sit down, relax, and enjoy some seasoning. Seasonal decorating. I was in Dollar Tree recently and I saw this really adorable sunflower sign that says Harvest Blessings. It does have a little rope so you could hang this up, but I actually didn't have anywhere to hang it and this is how it kind of became the inspiration for my fall coffee bar this year. I started by just moving and wiping everything down and I actually decided to do something different with my coffee because lately I've been using these reusable pods for my Keurig machine. I'm just finding it to be cheaper than purchasing K cups and also better for the environment. Environment. And when I was in Home Goods, I found some interesting coffees that I wanted to try. This Kahlua original one. It smells so amazing. And you know I had to pick a pumpkin spice one to try. And then I also got this gourmet Italian roast coffee as well. And I decided that I'm going to be keeping them in these jars from Dollar Tree, which hold about a little over half the bag of coffee. And they have a nice seal on the lid to keep the coffee grounds fresh. And instead of the K-cup carousel, I'm moving my K-cups off the counter and I just ended up clearing my old magazines and catalogs out of this drawer and making room to organize my K-cups in the drawer instead. This way I have them organized in here so guests can still easily choose what they want. This is just making a lot more sense for me because this way I have a variety of options for guests and now my counter coffee bar is just better suited to my own everyday use. And of course you could do all your coffee mugs like this for the fall, but I just bought one each of the sunflower plate, mug, and bowl from Dollar Tree. I decided to actually use them for decor rather than the mugs. I'm just keeping my plain white coffee mugs that I use year round and instead using the sunflower mug as part of an accent in the decor. And then remember this cloche from Beauty and the Beast table that I did? It's the perfect place for our English muffins. And then I've got my paper straws here. How perfect are these adorable little scarecrows? I thought these were so cute and they would make a really fun accent decoration to my little cup of straws. And then the French vanilla coffee stirrer spoons, I'm just gonna be sticking those in with the straws as well. You could use the paper straws to either stir your coffee or I use it a lot um, when I end up making iced coffee, putting them in there or something. Sometimes even for hot coffee, I have a coffee mug that I use a lot, but for whatever reason, it's an older one and it just leaks, the lid kind of leaks, like if you go to pour it. So I find it's a lot better for me to just take a paper straw in there rather than using the plastic ones. I know those are not good for the environment either. The paper ones just seem a little better all the way around and they really have some pretty cute straws that you can kind of find to fit or match with your seasonal decor as well. Dollar Tree had the cutest little pumpkins and I couldn't decide which one to use, so I might just incorporate all four of them. I'm also adding my little pumpkin spice candle. And then I was watching some YouTube DIYs to make like a stand for my coffee bar, like a tiered stand. Um, and I ended up finding this fruit stand. This is just a two tier fruit stand. I found it Home Goods for $12.99. I was like, you know, I'm gonna just save the time, hassle, work. And it's really would have only saved me a couple dollars to make it myself. But when I saw it was $12.99, I was like, you know what? I think I'm just gonna be better off 
buying this one and don't even bother making one right now. So that is what I did. I like that it has a low edge around it so that you can kind of see the decor. It still keeps all of my coffee mugs and things like that contained and neatly organized in there. But at the same time, it's low enough that I'm able to feature my decor and seasonal items in there as well. I was thinking of adding some kind of fall candy on top here, but you know, having a bowl of candy and a toddler is just not a good combination. So I decided to go with something a little bit healthier and add some pistachios instead. I do have my sugar bowl here, which I'm placing toward the back with my little jar of instant coffee as well. And then I picked up one of these adorable little shaker bottles in Dollar Tree that I'm actually gonna use for my pumpkin pie spice. It makes a yummy topping uh, for coffee in the fall. And I like using that. The other thing I think like seasonally I would probably enjoy throughout the year would be just putting cinnamon in here because I love cinnamon, love adding cinnamon to my coffee, cinnamon or a cinnamon sugar combination. Then the lower half of the fruit stand is just the perfect place to arrange my coffee mugs. Lastly, I'm finishing up the tiered stand with a fall sunflower accent that's also from Dollar Tree. They had this adorable little pick. Here's a quick tip to get the labels off your flowers quickly. Just carefully pull the flower head off, slide the label up and off, and then replace the flower head. It works quickly and easily. No scissors, no pulling, no fighting with the glue on the label, just comes right off and this is just a piece of cake. I'm just gonna bend the lower part of the stem around and place the floral piece in on the side here for a little accent piece. So this will just kind of rest in here nice and neat. And I think the last thing to bring it all together was I wanted to use labels for the coffees because they are in jars and you won't be able to tell which one is which. So Dollar Tree has some fall ribbon that I thought would work really well for this. And I'm just gonna wrap that around and make a little decoration on here. And just write the name of the coffee on there just so I know which one this is when I go to make my coffee in the morning. All right, guys, well, I think that concludes my fall coffee bar. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out Diana's video as well. The link for her video and channel will be in the description box down below, so you can head on over there. There will be a fall home tour coming up very shortly if you're interested in seeing how the rest of my home decor came out. I know you kind of have a sneak peek of it already behind me. So I would love to have you as a subscriber and join our YouTube family. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you soon in the next one. Bye.